Evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading the Monday, the 6th of uh, March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. You can down, certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the actual market itself, let's see exactly where we stand. Let's go through the uh, the day's numbers, uh, end of day's numbers. You have the FTSE finishing at 7350, really only off 24 points, given the uh, given the un, I mean the the the, the, the actual uh, shall we say uh, the number of bearish uh, arguments. Yet the FTSE still. Only finishes by down minus 24. Pretty impressive. Uh, the counter argument to that really would be Standard Life. Okay, Standard Life's bid for Aberdeen Asset Management. Uh, again, mergers and acquisitions certainly helping the FTSE 100, uh, given the fact that one of the uh, the actual stocks was up almost by by by, by, by almost 10 percent. So that's certainly helping. Also, oil as well. Oil uh, hit a pivot high of 54 or just over 54. So that's certainly helping. Sterling still remains weak, so that certainly is helping as well. If we bring up Sterling here, folks, let's just quickly uh, bring up Sterling to show you where well, the daily chart Sterling, as you can see here, still continues to, to plow lower, uh, and that certainly is helping the actual uh, FTSE itself. Now, I was expecting inverted head and shoulders formation. That certainly has uh, gone out of the uh, the window for now, okay? So looking for double bottom, obviously uh, expecting that to... Uh, certainly uh, inflict punishment and damage on the FTSE 100 so bear that in mind okay double bottom looking for a potential bounce here okay now in terms of the european indices let's just give you the numbers again german dax down 70 points 11960 pretty impressive given the fact that we had deutsche bank concerns okay given the fact that we had um, concerns over mercedes recalling 1 million daimler certainly uh, certainly being hit but then that was negated by peugeot uh, potential purchase of Opal, okay, from GM, so that certainly didn't uh, negate that. Uh, and in terms of Deutsche Bank, it certainly seems that the markets have taken that in stride. Uh, the French CAC again, very impressive, given the given the fact that Mr. Fallon uh, continues to uh, to to, to uh, basically uh, uh, remain in the race. Mr. Juppé certainly isn't making a comeback, uh, thereby obviously strengthening or increasing the probability that Miss Le Pen would uh, certainly lose in the second round. Okay, so that certainly isn't uh, isn't the case now, uh, especially given the fact that Mr. Juppé certainly can grab uh, potential uh, support away from Le Pen. So again, the political uncertainty remains, and yet the uh, the French CAC certainly isn't um, certainly isn't unfazed at all, uh, which is very impressive. Okay, the FTSE MIB certainly took it uh, badly in terms of uh, being down one percent, but that certainly is a volatile indices regardless. Okay, in terms of economic data, German uh, PMI data certainly came in stronger today. Okay, certainly helping. Centix investor confidence in Europe certainly came in stronger as well. That's certainly helping as well. Factory orders in the US certainly came in stronger as well. That's certainly helping. So, uh, a number of uh, of uh, of uh, bullish, uh, shall we say, economic data certainly helping the cause. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, picture where it stands. Okay, in terms of the German DAX, bear in mind the euro as well. The euro was up above 1.0630, today until it retraced and that certainly is helping European equities as well. You can see that we hit a bit higher 1.0640, okay, post Yellen's hawkish stance. So just bear that in mind, that certainly will come into play as well. Okay, so where do we stand? Where are we going? Okay, let's look at the actual technical picture now of the German DAX, given the fact that we've closed, looking at the daily chart at the moment. It's still an inside bar. We're still holding that bullish engulfing candle. Uh, the, the diagonal trend line certainly is holding as well as far, so bear that in mind. If I just move out and give you a five-year view, okay, uh, let's just move back into a daily now. Okay, so this key diagonal trend line, just trying to show you if you connect the dots, okay, this key di triagonal tr diagonal trend line certainly is in play. Bear in mind, you still have the unfilled gap below at 11.830, so watch out for any bearish catalyst that could really send this uh, into a tailspin, okay, that's very important. 60-minute chart, German DAX holding that potential double bottom support. Okay, given the fact that we do have an unfilled gap above, that certainly will come into play as well. So bear in mind, so you battle of the gaps basically. So you have an unfilled gap above at 12030, then you have an unfilled gap below 11830. For now, the 10 minute chart, German DAX certainly holding. 
even with Deutsche Bank concerns, etc., etc. Okay, oscillating between support, which is seen at 11,930, and resistance, which is seen at 11, well, call it 12,000. And then you have 12,030 as uh, gap fill resistance. You have the diagonal trend line as well. So just keep an eye on that, okay, in terms of the next potential move in the uh, in the markets, okay. Uh, so the German DAX, be, be wary of that, okay. Uh, in terms of the uh, uh, alternative indices, which is the French CAC, let's just quickly go over to the French CAC here, folks, okay. Daily chart, the check, the French CAC at present, inside bar, okay. Nothing overtly bearish, just bear that in mind, even with Mr. Juppé, Mr. Phylon. Uh, also, with regards to the uh, barrage of uh, bearish arguments today, Deutsche Bank concerns, capital raising. Uh, we had China cutting growth uh, targets as well. Uh, Daimler recalling 1 million. Deutsche Bank, which I've already mentioned. US bird flu. North Korea test firing its potential missiles, which were very, very close to the uh, the Japanese border. The list goes on. German uh, bank stating that, uh, well, certainly anti-QE rhetoric in increasing there, stating no need for QE, etc., etc. I mean, where do I start? Where do I end? So, still uh, very impressive. Very, very impressive. I mean, we didn't even move lower to test the potential breakout of 4930, let alone the gap fill at 4860. So, again, hats off. Respect to the bulls for now, okay? Uh, in terms of the flush, if we do continue to flush, <clears throat> support seen at 4850, and then back down at 4910 and then gap fill obviously around the 4860 watch out below okay again 10 minute chart at the moment we did actually uh, thrust towards the close okay so again where do we stand uh, you currently have resistance here previous support equals resistance at 48 uh, 4985 okay then gap fill at uh, 4995 so that certainly is a as a short entry zone for me certainly is a short entry zone okay Definitely a short entry zone if we do, if we go higher and close the gap. So just bear that in mind. Okay, now uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, let's see where we stand here, folks. Okay, so looking at a daily chart of the FTSE 100. Now we've certainly broken out the the bro the, the actual breakout itself is very bullish because we, we even with today's bearish onslaught and bearish news, yeah, the the FTSE failed to to break below the uh, six uh, sorry seven three forty zone. Or the 7320 zone, which was very, very impressive, okay? So the bull flag certainly is in motion, okay? Obviously, we're at all-time highs. If you go to the weekly chart, we're certainly at all-time highs, although it is circumspect given the uh, rising contracting wedge pattern, which generally does indicate a potential bearish pattern. 60-minute uh, chart, really, you are looking at consolidation. So really, it's a bear flag formation in reality. So just bear that in mind. Any thrust tires certainly will be limited, and you are looking at lower lows and lower highs, looking for a lower low, looking to retest this key zone down here at 7320, ideally. Okay, ideally. But again, the market will decide. Okay, uh, the setup's certainly there. Okay, just bear, obviously be made aware of that. Okay, in terms of resistance, FTSE, you are seeing resistance at 7365 and then gap fill at 7375. They are the two zones that you are going to see uh, or face potential resistance on the FTSE 100 so just bear that in mind okay in terms of FTSE going forward uh, you, last but not least you're looking at euro stocks so let's bring up the euro stocks for you where are thou euro stocks here we go okay so looking at the daily chart the euro stocks at the moment you are finding resistance and facing resistance and holding resistance so key resistance there where previous support equals resistance in the daily chart the weekly chart at the moment really is in no man's land. Uh, the thrust tire has been very impressive. 60 minute chart at the moment. Again, it was a bear flag formation looking for a flush. Uh, if we do flush, then you are looking at support, which is here at seven, uh, th sorry, 3370. If that breaks, then you're looking at 3350 and then ultimately gap filled below. There is a key diagonal trend line that may well come into play if we continue to flush. So again, me made aware of that. Okay, so just me open minded. In terms of the 10-minute chart, you are you do have unfilled gap above at 3400. So obviously we're aware of that. Uh, you certainly have hold, well certainly have held at 3380 double bottom support, and you have resistance at 3396, and then 3403, and then you have the unfilled gap at 3320. So it'll be interesting to see how this market plays out. Now just bear in mind here, there is a potential HNS formation brewing. Your left shoulder here, head. Okay, it's confirmed. Right shoulder looking to flush. If we do break lower, then you're looking at 3, 4, or 10. Let's just make it easier. 3, 4, 10, 3, 3, 80. You're looking at 3, 3, 50 in the downside. So certainly be made aware of that. Okay, certainly be open to that as well. Okay, 
Right, I think that's a good summation of uh, European equities. Uh, certainly have bounced, uh, certainly have shown immense strength in the face of uh, very bearish news flow. Okay, very, very bearish news flow. But uh, the markets, you have to respect price action, folks. That's all I can say. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.